Are you ready, guys? Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. You can see the, the lighting, right? You're like, oh, jeez. Assalamu alaikum, wa alaikum salam. May peace be upon you, upon you be peace. Bismillah, assalamu alaikum, peace and love my family, whoever you are, wherever you are, you are my family. Smile, you might ask, why? Because it will make you feel better. The Saudi Arabia, Umrah vlog, is here. And I'm going with this guy. Assalamu alaikum. Jubair, how excited are you from 1 to 10? I am like, no. I think I'm on 11. No! Me too, bro. Oh, and this is my little baba, Ibrahim. Ibrahim, are you going to miss your Pujan? He's laughing. Uh, me and... Jubair are going to be there for a week, inshallah. Four or five days in Medina, and then uh, two days in Mecca to do Umrah. We'll, you're going to be with us anyway. Hello, Habibi, you want to say something to the fam? I can't explain to you the excitement. Again, Jubair, how excited are you? I'm so excited. Oh. I'm so excited, and I just get hiding. Yeah, we'll stop doing that. I know, I know, I know, I know. <coughs> I think I need to start choking my chewing gum. Not a good start. <coughs> <laughs> anyway, that was actually, did you just dance? Huh? You just danced, didn't you? That's, mate, I, I, I'm gonna go with Kaaba to ask for forgiveness. We are in Lebanon. I was just checking my bag, who was there? <laughs> well, got his fan base. That's not my fan base. They're beautiful brothers from Somalia. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just checking, what are these guys doing with the camera? So, what do you feel about the journey so far, bro? It's been nice. It's me and you. Fun, Getting to know what each other bonding. It's been a special trip. It's only just begun. Alhamdulillah. Inshallah, it's a successful trip. <laughs> Are we sharing a hotel room? Yeah, we're in the same room. Single beds though. I know you wanted a, a double. <laughs> but I had to do the single, bro. Fam, can I show you something? Mount Ohad. Allahu Akbar. We are scouting locations with this guy. We're in, we're in Medina, the city of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We are so guests though, isn't it? Anything we see, we're like, oh my gosh. So fam, let, let, me, let me show you how we do this thing, yeah? Let me show you how we do our planning. All right, so what am I walking towards you? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right, let's go. Salah al Badr al Family, can you believe this is where the Battle of Ohad happened? Is Just, can, you, can you believe? I, bro, it's like, it's, this is our history, man. As Muslims, this, this is our history. That's Mount Ohud, man. It makes your hair stand on it. I know, bro. It's like, Allahu Akbar. And we're going to get close to it, by the way, inshallah. Yeah, we're going to be praying salah there. And that, woo. Prophet <laughs> told the archers Sallallahu to stay. Alayhi wa sallam. And they didn't stay. They didn't. But you know, Qadr Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, bro. Everything happens for a reason, man. Khalid bin Walid radiallahu an was the one who came and did that tactical move, which made the Muslims not victorious on that day but then Khalid bin Walid came and became one of one of the greatest warriors of this religion Allahu Akbar oh man this is amazing send a big shout out to NCL tours yeah amazing brothers who brought us here me and Jabir they sponsored this trip Alhamdulillah may Allah bless them they do trips all around the world and they also do trips um, you know, to Medina and Mecca. Oh, Fam, this is the new masjid, Mount Ohad Masjid. See that mountain right behind me there? That is where the archers were, where Prophet Muhammad SAW told them not to move, and they moved in unfortunately. And this is where Hamza radiallahu and the other companions of the Prophet Muhammad SAW are buried. And this is a blessed area in Medina here, alhamdulillah. Mount Ohad is a uh, as I said before, it's our history, right? Subhanallah. And uh, this is it. This is where the warrior of Islam, one of the warriors, Hamza radiallahu anh, the uncle of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, is buried. I'm not happy because this guy here, yeah? Mr. Director there, he's making me walk on this terrain, yeah? With these dodgy Primark flip-flops, yeah? 
and it hurts my feet. Look at this guy. Bro, we have to get the Sahih experience, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. A big shout out to my brother Haroon from Bounty House in Richton near Blackburn. They also, Alhamdulillah, bless this beautiful project. You know, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them. All the links are in the description to these beautiful brothers. And you know, my brother Haroon is a beautiful, beautiful brother, Alhamdulillah. Special brother. His older brother is beautiful. They believe in the vision. And they say, yes, we want to support you in your endeavor to go to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam city and record Dala al Badr. So remember that. Bounty house, Rishton, beautiful restaurant. I take a hammer to your Adi like a Saudi. Sometimes they call me rowdy. I know that I'm not a chowdhury, but everybody knows I'm a Saudi. Bro, you know the thing is, yeah? People get happy, bro. We like creating some art and all that, yeah? And we get happy doing this, that, that. But, uh, bro, look at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation, bro. Come around with me. Uh, what look painting, here, look here, bro. Allah. What artwork, what piece of music, what tapestry, what poem can encapsulate the beauty that we're looking at right now? It can't. Nothing. Nothing. But we could try. Yeah. Dalal Badr, 2018, Medina, behind the seats. As you can see, it's the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's resting place, Masjid Nabawi. Allahu Akbar, we are here. I'm with my guy. Juma Mubarak. Juma Mubarak. Oh, yes, Juma today. Alhamdulillah, how beautiful was it to do Juma in, uh, in Medina, bro? It was lovely. We were on the roof. So, Alhamdulillah, we are here. Well, I don't even know. I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say. Like, what can you say with such a beautiful Allahu Akbar? Allahu Akbar. Send lots of salawat on the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on Friday every day. We are at Masjid Quba. This is the first spot that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came when he came to Medina. I have been forced these. And this little girl has nicked my chair. Not Nick, she just sat on it. Let's <laughs> leave me stranded with these kids. This, you see, this little girl has taken my chair. So I'm still stranded with this uh, chain. What's your name? I'm still stranded with this chain. And, uh, you know, made in China. It's nice. You can't be rude to them. They're children, alhamdulillah. They're just trying to make some money for themselves. Okay, here, take this. I'll give you something. Here, take this. I'll give you something. This guy, this guy right here, he legged it. He legged it. That little girl there no, took no, my no, chair. No, it's survival of the fittest, yeah? I don't want to get into we that We don't situation. believe in the Darwin theory, my friend. No. We're not I'm, atheists. I'm not talking about... We're, we're, not, we're not about atheists, Darwinism. we're Muslims. I'm talking about <laughs> we're surviving. Muslims, achi. I'm talking about surviving. Achi, achi. We're Muslims, achi. You put extra emphasis on that in, Ar in Saudi Arabia. Okay? Alright, Also, we went to Chile, yeah? And we met, we saw brothers from... I'm assuming the Masjid uh, um, University of uh, Medina. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Oh, man. Talib <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Do you talk about this masjid quickly for us? So this masjid is a beautiful masjid and as Omar said earlier, it is the one where as Prophet Sallallahu along with Abu Bakr was migrating to Medina al munawwara This is the first place that he came to uh, came to rest, came you know, he came and stopped and this masjid was built here. Alhamdulillah in honor of that. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah bro. As it's always I do, I do a room tour of the hotel I'm in. So I am in Pullman Zamzam Hotel, Medina. First let me show you the view. That's the view. You can't really see it. I'm so sorry. You can probably, you can see. Sorry, you can see my, my reflection. Sorry, I'm sorry. You know, standard stuff, TV, you know, my side, Jaber's side there, that's his stuff there. Nice size room, alhamdulillah, you know. And now, <laughs> the toilet. They see the toilet, the toilet in, in bathrooms. So basically, in toilet, you know what, bruv? You know when you come to Muslim country, innit? You're sorted. No questions asked. Shower, you know? Yeah, that's my, that's my wash bag. My wash bag is like a suitcase. <laughs> that was a quick tour. Pullman, Zamzam. But one thing though, they don't give you an iron in the ironing board, man. Every hotel room in the world should give you an iron and an ironing board. <laughs> I've called for one, it's gonna come inshallah. But you should have an iron and an ironing board in the hotel room. Manzi to iron their clothes, you know, you know what I'm saying? Fam, we are in Bin Daud, yeah? It's like the Tesco of Saudi Arabia, yeah? Now, for example, yeah, they have really unique brands here, yeah? Like 
McVitie's, Digestives, and probably everything that you want from the Western world. I bought a gel, L'Oreal, and he's got an Oreo cake. Oh, they got banana juice as well, banana milkshake. Banana milkshake, yeah. So yeah, I wanted to show you because they don't really like cameras here. You know what so you I just wanted to like? show you. What? Fitness, oh, okay, that's nice. I was walking, and I was walking past where the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's grave is. And I just came up with a melody, man. I just came up with a melody. I was like, I'm thinking about beloved Rasulallah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam I'm thinking about you Muhammad Rasulallah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam your face was like the moon Your beauty was out in this world You are Allah's beloved Muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so Yeah, hmm, alhamdulillah The making of Dala al Badru. Day one officially, we are alhamdulillah in a beautiful day farm Alhamdulillah Again, big shout out to the sponsors of this video my brother Shaquille Mauji, Abdullah Aid, NCL Tours for sponsoring this beautiful trip to Saudi Arabia to our Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's houses and also my brother Harun of Bounty House, Rishton near Blackburn beautiful brothers, beautiful restaurant, food restaurant, check them out but yeah man, let's get this going inshallah so uh, fam, this is a brother Abdullah, alhamdulillah, he is driving us around. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him. Ameen. So, location two done. I'm sorry we couldn't show you what we did. Well, you've seen it in the video, alhamdulillah. But, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever done a harder piece of shooting in my life. And we weren't even doing much. Subhanallah, the terrain here is just... Subhanallah, that's what I'm going to say. How difficult was it though? Uh, do you know what? Alhamdulillah, the... It is difficult though, isn't it? The difficulty is making it worth it. Yeah, yeah, it is. But it's so hot. Yeah. We're like so humid and, and honestly the train is difficult. Cause, cause, can, can I say something? You know, um, one of the things I was thinking about when we were filming in Medina was that, you know, subhanAllah, we want to show respect to this blessed place. Yeah, yeah, You know, like yeah. filming things, especially in this age that we live in where people just Snapchat everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's quite disrespectful. Mm. But I think one of the intentions that we had, alhamdulillah, was to pay, pay respect to this place. Yeah, indeed. And I think, you know what, some of the hardships that we're going through are it's it's the compensation yeah. for paying respects you know, and, like. and imagine the hardship the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and, and Abu Bakr Radiallahu and all the Sahabas did when they made Hijrah yeah. now really honestly honestly today I, I'm, Wallahi I'm not joking I can really feel that struggle and we didn't even do much I know and we got, we got a Yukon look at this I Yukon. know we got a beautiful brother Abdullah helping us with this beautiful car so we got a car they used to have camel subhanallah day two of Tala Al Badru with you bear Do you know what? Yeah, Alhamdulillah God. I'm not like annoyed or agitated or like hating you as much as I thought I might what? do by day two You're actually okay to travel with I mean you do leave tissues You leave like a trail of tissues in your wake but it's antibacterial wipes guys, I'm an OCD but It's a new fact you know about me today We just started the day so Do we look tired already? It's the heat It is the heat It's panda. This is Al Baik, basically Saudi Arabia's McDonald's. You know, we came here, we've been looking for for three days because he told me, he told me he had grilled chicken. Okay, I don't, I, I grill chicken, I can't have burger thing. I'm, I'm like gluten intolerant, yeah? And, 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 and now we have to go to a place called Maush or something. What's it called? Al Tazaj. Al Tazaj, yeah? But we can't go Al Baik, it's a shame. But it's all good, Al Baik. You enjoy yourself. I think McDonald's is better anyway. Halal one, I don't obviously have it in England, but when I go to Dubai, Definitely do a Big Mac stopover. What about you, JB? If I wasn't married, I'd throw the request out. But I am. Just throw it out anyway, bro. You've got three more. So this is our brother Ali. He is, alhamdulillah, driving us around. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him. I mean, he is from Pakistan, Sialkot. Sialkot, may I have Punjabi? Punjabi, eh? Yes, we speak Punjabi. Why? Urdu is very good. I speak Punjabi. Punjabi? Yes, I understand Punjabi. No, no, no. Punjabi speaking. Yes, Punjabi speaking. How long have you been in Medina? 6 years. 
Chin Sal, mashallah. And uh, alhamdulillah, it's uh, so many uh, Pakistanis in um, uh, in Medina, well, in Saudi Arabia, and also lots of um, uh, Bengalis, Bala Sunni. Yeah, yeah, woo, woo, woo. So alhamdulillah, uh, you know, South Asians are everywhere. This is the date farm of Uthman Radiallahan, subhanAllah, and they bought it from uh, the, the Jewish man they bought they bought and then they you know established it for the Ummah so the money actually still goes into Uthman Radiallahu's account subhanallah and then it's distributed to madrasas uh, masjids and you know all things which benefit the Ummah subhanallah and this is it this is it's a really long subhanallah like uh, wow I'm, imagine living opposite it alhamdulillah that's cool firstly it's amazing that he's still gaining the reward and you know like being wealthy man that he was yeah he was also intelligent as well yeah like, I know for us it's like a lesson that bro like you could, you could set something up now yeah and Allah knows it could be around a thousand years later like this so this is the shop alhamdulillah that takes care of the dates of uh, Uthman Radiallahu's farm subhanallah Muhammad Akram Muhammad Akram alhamdulillah brother Muhammad Akram here alhamdulillah he works here alhamdulillah he's blessed to work here you know he's serving you know Alhamdulillah, our Umman selling the dates of uh, Uthman radiallahu anh, Alhamdulillah. That is Masjid Qibla Dain. That is where the Qibla was changed, subhanAllah, from Jerusalem to Makkah. I'm sad leaving Medina in the next three hours, inshallah. Today, I visited the Rauda, which is an area of uh, Masjid Nabawi, which is a part of Jannah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. And I sent my to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and to Abu Bakr Radiallahu and to Umar Radiallahu Anh. It was good. The wait is long, SubhanAllah. Like, I had to wait like an hour to get into the Rolda area, you know. With the, if you've been there, you'll know that in that area they have the carpet screen and signifies that, you know, you're in Jannah. Wow. I'll say one thing though. People get too excited, man. Like, I get you want to see the, you know, you want to pray there, you want to pray your two nafas. But it's actually forbidden to push people and be aggressive to get there. It completely defeats the purpose. Um, so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us in that. I mean, you know, I can understand the passion and the love, but things have to be done in a way that is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And imagine if Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was standing, standing there. You wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that. You know, it's not recommended. But I can get it, I can understand the passion, I can understand the passion, but May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us in that, I mean I can't wait to go to Makkah Inshallah ta'ala we get there safely And it's a successful mm, day and a half Tomorrow is our last full day in Saudi Arabia And then back again on Wednesday I miss my Ibu, my son I miss my Halal Habibi, my wife I miss my mom and dad, I miss them but I could stay here longer, I just go to the masjid, come back Pray, sit down, relax. But life is sometimes running against you. SubhanAllah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for all of us. Say Ameen. So ladies and gentlemen, it is me, Dubai Cairo. And I am hosting the show Stars, there, right? Stars in Their Eyes. And today we have Mr. Riyad. Jubair Riyad. Who will you be? To the Jubair Riyadh. Well, uh, <laughs> Dubai Cairo. Today I'm going to be a pilgrim. We will see you after this. A few moments later. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. Da -da 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 -da. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. <laughs> I don't know what to say. The pilgrim has gone crazy. I bless you, my son. <laughs> I don't endorse his uh, choice of uh, song. I told him to do it in a sheet. So, I'm ready to go to Umrah, inshallah, with my body. Bags are packed, everything's all secure, alhamdulillah. Let's just do this, inshallah. Let's go with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm bold. Me too! Alhamdulillah. We're uh, the Egg Brothers. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our Umrah. Ameen. I, I can see your reflection in my head. What, what am I looking down for? 
You are as beautiful as the moon. Thanks, bro. But the, the, are you saying the top is, yeah? Yes. I think you you look like the moon because of the talcum powder. Umrah is, alhamdulillah, done. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it. Say Ameen. Ameen. Our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made dua three times with the person who shaved. He said, clean off. SubhanAllah. Clean off. Clean off. And inshallah ta'ala we get that reward with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jibar? Inshallah. Alhamdulillah, we are happy. Um, now I'm going to go and make du'as that you guys asked me to make in front of the Kaaba, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our Umrah. Ameen. And I'm bold. Hi. Cancel your holidays. Come Umrah. Let's have some food. Sam, I just woke up, yeah? And I just found someone in my bed. Why is this guy laying on my bed? Jibar, get get off me. I got lonely in the other room. Bro, we're bold. I still can't believe we're bold. <laughs> oh my gosh. We all accept it. I mean, you know what, fam? I was just telling Jibar, yeah, subhanAllah. So many of you have sent the R requests, subhanAllah. It's like hours. Hours. Yes, I was in front of the Kaaba. For what is it? Well, a couple of hours, a few hours. No, you have ages. SubhanAllah, may Allah accept it because when you make du'a for somebody, the angels make du'a for you. So Alhamdulillah, it's a win-win for everybody. And Jubair has made du'a for nobody but himself. You know your bed is much more comfortable than the sofa. <laughs> 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 it's not my fault. Guy, don't judge me, okay? I did not make this guy sleep on the sofa. He did it himself. And I'm not gonna lie. I was very happy with that. <laughs> Fam, room tour. Let's do this now, inshallah. So, this is the master bedroom. Yes, it is. Let's continue. This is the toilet. By the way, I just have to say, this is the best room in the world. And you're gonna understand in the next 60 seconds why. And there he is. Sheikh bin Daud Jubal. Red passport. Yeah, red passport. If you got the if you got the red passport, you can go. Why? Why? Passport system? Why? Why? It's all Allah Subhanahu wa Taala's earth. All of it. All right. So we're going to the toilet now. So guys, I'm not gonna lie. There is an his and her sink. Obviously, mine is his, and there's your her. Mm. <laughs> okay. So there's a shower. Epic shower. Epic shower, toilet, they've got a bathtub, nice bathtub. Jabez like she's ruining my tour thing in the background with his blooming commentary. Egghead. And I can actually call him that now, because I'm one. <laughs> anyway guys, toilet, you know the toilet, it's a Muslim country, so obviously they're going to have the... You know, but wicked feature of the bathroom. A wudu area, and a chair for you to sit down on, and it's so amazing. Smile, you might ask why, because it will make you feel better. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm a bit high because I'm bold. I think it gets more to your head. There he is again, he's back again. All he wants to do is be on the camera. So far, TV. Also, Jaber, could you do the honors of showing them the, the cupboard? Oh, let's here, let's have a look at that. the cupboard. We've got a very special cupboard. Can you turn the light on, please, sir? It's, it's on the In the lobby. lobby. No, the lobby. We don't know which is what, what lights are. Look. There's so many lights. <laughs> There's so many lights. So this is a very special cupboard. It's another toilet. Do you think they're ready for the best room in the world? Uh, I think they ain't ready, bro. They're not ready. Are you ready, guys? Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. You can see the, sh the light hitting my You're like, oh, trees! <sighs> Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Views. There's no better view in the world. You want your ocean view? I don't want it. You want your jungle view? I don't want it. You want your cinema view? I don't want it. Any more, Jubei? You want that city view? I don't, I don't want, want it. You want that haram view? You know what I'm talking about. We don't want it. Stuff it a lot. This is the view. The best view in the world. The best room in the world. I know there's probably other rooms here, but I'm going to claim this. I'm going to claim it. You know where I'm claiming it? That's it's the best room in the world. And there I come in here. I come back again, guys. Yes, light. Allahu Akbar. This is the Raffles Hotel in the clock tower. Allahu Akbar. Check that out. It is 
epic mashallah this is how busy it is guys in uh, March we will love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his, his house and it's really beautiful isn't it shade is in there now oh shade beautiful shade it's actually quite beautiful also here you gotta watch out so you don't get run over by people it's mostly the sisters man you gotta watch out for the sisters here mashallah they're like anxious to get to their cover there so Jaber, um, you know, I want to actually ask you, what do you think you've learned from this trip? Um, hmm. I've learned that, well I already knew this, but I kind of get re, sort of re-emphasized to myself that I just, I love Muslims, I love Duma, in all different colors and shapes and sizes and, you know, like we, we've got problems and we need to learn, we need to gain knowledge and we need to become better people, we need to improve our manners, that's what Prophet Islam came to perfect. But having said that, I still love I love the Muslims, you know. Yeah. Muslims have got a sick vibe in it, mashallah. Yeah. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, if there's Muslims, you you got family. You got people yeah. to look out for. That word assalamu alaikum ties us together in it. In yeah. a, in a kind of a obviously la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah ties us together but that, that that first initial Assalamu alaikum. Also, don't forget to come on my social media platforms, inshallah. Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Subscribe to this page, inshallah. Join the crew. The crew, the smile. You might ask why, because it will make you feel better. Food is here, alhamdulillah. That's mine. That's Mr. Jubair. What is that, Jubair? Iskender. That sounds like that program, that Apple. Yeah, Apple, yeah. Fam, this is the end of the Umrah vlog. Jazakallah Haram for being on this journey with me. I'm really sorry I couldn't film much in, you know, Masjid Nabawi and, you know, uh, Makkah Haram. Uh, you know, it's a bit difficult because there's security everywhere. And also, when you're there, you want to try to just be in Ibadah, SubhanAllah. So, I know you understand where I'm coming from, inshallah. Um, you know, guys, I just hope you enjoyed it. Hope you benefited from it, inshallah ta'ala. Um, please keep supporting me, subscribe to this channel, uh, like my page on Facebook, Instagram, follow me on Snapchat, follow me on Twitter, SoundCloud. All the links are in the description below. And you know, what a beautiful ending. Check that view out. The best view ever. Um, I love you all for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yep, I'm bold. Also, before I finish off, I want to give a big shout out to Shaquille Malji from Abdullah Aid for sponsoring, you know, part of this trip. Alhamdulillah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him. Abdullah Aid, beautiful charity organization. Link in the description. Please, you know, give whatever you can, inshallah ta'ala. Also, a big shout out to NCL Tours for sponsoring this whole trip for me and Jubair, alhamdulillah. Please check them out. Any holiday you want, they can help you, inshallah. If it be, you know, a Muslim-friendly holiday, or if you want to come, for Umrah or Hajj, they can sort you out inshallah. The links are in the description. And also my brother Harun from Rishton slash Blackburn. Their restaurant is in Rishton, Balti House. Support them, check them out, beautiful brothers. And everybody else who supported me on this trip, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. Brother Akmal helped a lot in Medina, alhamdulillah, on the first day we got here. It's been beautiful, it's been amazing. Words can't describe it. Don't forget to say subhanallah, alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar. Assalamu alaikum. Peace and love, my family. Whoever you are, wherever you are, you are my family. Smile. You might ask why. Because it will make you feel better. Peace.